Now we're going to work satin stitch on this acorn in a double thread. I always thread up with a double thread with a loop at the end and take the needle down, come up through the loop and catch through the loop and then take your needle down through the hole you've just come up through. Now this linen is bouncing a little bit so I'm just going to tighten it just by pulling around the perimeter of the frame. I'm actually using a seat frame so I've got both hands free. There we go. Just look out for the linen and make sure that the lines on the linen are straight and then you'll see that it's very flat. So that sounds nice and hollow. Quite happy with that. So the first stitch comes up at the base of the area we're covering and goes down over the tip of the acorn shape. So the first stitch divides the area in half. All you do is come up at the base and down over the blue line, covering the blue line. And as you can see in this design, all those direction lines are marked. So you're literally going over the whole shape, beginning in the middle and working towards one side then carrying your thread across the back and work to the opposite side. You just ignore the little dot on the end of this shape, that's a French knot to be worked later. So these parallel lines make satin stitch and that's all satin stitch is, it's just one straight stitch. Now the way I'm going to work it on this piece here, which is this design, is in a 3D way to make it raise slightly. The design I'm working on is the Wordsworth Cuckoo and I'd like these acorns to be really raised so that in the end it looks as though I've split an acorn in half and popped it on the top and rested it on the top of the linen. So I've worked a first layer and I'm going to repeat the sequence working a second layer but this time I'm only going to go towards the edge. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge. So the center stitch and not pulling, I'm not pulling this down too much. I'm just letting the stitch rest on top of the other stitches. So I'm going almost to the edge but not quite with this second layer. First to one side, then to the other. Keeping the direction exactly the same as the first. And then I go back to the centre and work another central stitch. So this is the third layer. And then I'm putting in a stitch first one side and then to the other. Right, am I happy? It's a little dip there, so I'm just going to put in another stitch and that should make a perfect acorn. Mm -hmm.